and welcome everyone to the female bodybuilding's number one show channel. <laughs> what is our channel called, bro? Female bodybuilding channel. FBBC, come on. Who created the name FBBC? It was me. Yes. Yes. This is true. I said, what does FBBC stand for? You like female bodybuilding channel. I That's said, true. it all makes sense now. Correct? That's true. That's true. And uh, it will. Toronto Pro just went down. We, yeah. You are now looking at the women's physique athletes. We had yeah. a great turnout. Not the biggest names, but a lot of athletes, JB. That's true. That's true. I think we had nine athletes, as I can remember. More, wasn't it? Oh, more? Okay, nine. And and while you're looking at the athletes, let me. I, we have the list, and we have. It is one. It no, it's more. It's like twelve. Twelve. Wow. You see, <laughs> just a couple of interesting yeah. things before the top six. We have the return, JB, of um, Mindy O'Brien. That's true, Mindy O'Brien. Long, long time not see. Uh, I think last time I saw her in the figure division. I can remember. No, she competed 2017 at the Masters Women's Physique, I believe. Really? Yeah, good. Yeah. Maybe I missed it. Yeah. My, 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 oh, shame on me. Shame on me. <laughs> she came back at age 48 and she yeah. was in great condition. That's definitely true. The condition but was awesome. Obviously, the muscle size is not there no more. Uh, well, from her era, 2016 17 to 2022, you need a lot more mass and hardness to compete. And uh, she did not have that mass and hardness. Well, she was in great condition. Yeah. But she did not have the muscle size needed. And also at age 48, after a five-year break, JB, she did great. Yeah. I and mean, what I saw in, on Instagram, on social media, the last five years, she, she never lose that shape. So very good. Mm. Thank you very much. I know. Well, there's a big difference between 2016 and 2022 women's physique. Yeah, that's definitely true. That's definitely true. Criteria has yeah. changed a lot. Yeah, the figure girls were bigger. Down, uh, she got days. in the second call out. She was yeah. standing next to uh, our friend from Finland, Sana Nuponen, who looked yeah. very good from the back. Yeah, very good. Sana is mm -hmm. back was always good. So uh, we, mm -hmm. I saw that last time in, uh, what was it? it was in, in Spain. And uh, yeah, very good. Top six and JB, Marianne von Gierke from Chile, her debut. Oi, oi, oi. I wish she would have won the whole show. Well, yeah. I wish she would have gotten second to the other girl. Tremendous abs and thigh, JB. What do you think about this girl? New girl. Yeah, yeah it's very surprising. Uh, came from nothing, you can say. Yeah. Uh, and uh, first time I saw, who is this standing, standing out there at outer in the comparisons? Oh. Wow. And I thought, whoa. Nice and round, thick muscle, 3D delts. Definitely, definitely true. And, uh, I think, uh, oh, von Gierke, German. Huh? Maybe German. <laughs> it was Chile, yeah. Isn't there a lot of Germans that used to go to Chile? Yeah, Chile. Yeah, yeah. After the war or something, uh, wasn't it? After the war and uh, in the war. And uh, uh, after the war and then came to Chile and Paraguay, so Argentina and so on. They um, settled out to, yeah, mm. yeah. To most of them. Yeah. And, and my favorite call out, she was out in that mix with, we saw Jasmine Lira Flores from Mexico. Yeah. And notice how I say Mexico. You yeah. heard my pronunciation was correct, correct? Tres. Yeah, bye -bye. <laughs> and JB, those two girls were my favorite in the whole whole show, actually. Of physics. Yeah. yeah? Whole yeah. show. Yeah. And that's yeah. women's bodybuilding included. You know? <laughs> no. um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 3D delts. Crazy legs. <laughs> Crazy conditioning, bro. Great tan. Yeah. Freaky. Just me in fifth place, correct? Were you happy yeah. with her look? Um, yeah, I was. Um, um, I thought uh, she was placed higher. I thought she was going to place higher, but she was too big, obviously, for for the judging standards of today. Yeah, she was. She, she didn't fit in the in the average. So I say, no. <laughs> I say. <laughs> Should she switch to women's bodybuilding next year? Pack on a little bit size. Uh, yeah, pack a little bit more size. 
Yeah, I've got the, the, <laughs> <laughs> a lot more. We Grand want more, to see yeah. freaks, don't we? Uh, yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. In fourth place, JB, who was it? It's uh, Jody Johansson. Okay, where she she is from? Uh, come on, uh, this is a new name for me. Yeah. Um, I don't really know where she come from because I have to list here from Canada, and you know, I have no country mentioned here, sadly. But I will find out. She looked great. Yeah. She look she looked great. Yes, that's what I do. Yeah, and uh, she doesn't uh, she doesn't um, make any minus points uh, in, in the lineup. So yeah, she looks good. Great, yeah. great, great placing for her. In third was the return, wasn't it, of Eleonora? Yes, Eleonora Dobrina. Um, and we saw some great conditioning, JB. Yeah, yeah. She always brought that. Uh, and uh, she's a former Olympia uh, participant. Um, yeah, we was in good, good, good condition. And the third place was really, um, yeah. A little bit slight on muscle, though. We would like to see some more muscle. Yeah, that's true. But she has the, she has the shape. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. In second place was a very impressive. She was out on the side when in the comparisons. And then after a little bit more judging, the judge is obviously tall frame, shredded. Yeah. Uh, well, not shredded, but in great condition. Yeah. Um, beautiful frame. We saw her at Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And yeah. her name is Emilia Martic. Martic. Martic from Martic. Serbia or something, correct? Yes, Serbian. Yeah. Is that a Serbian yeah. name? Yeah. 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 Serbian. She looked great in second, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she really, yeah, really fit, was fitting in. And uh, I think, um, yeah, she was not close, but uh, if some judges would decide otherwise, it could be a place other way. <laughs> so it was not. And yeah. Obviously, for me personally, I would have liked uh, the sixth or fifth girl to win, obviously, but according to the criteria, obviously, so well deserved. Yeah. Jin He Lee from Korea. Yeah. And, Second uh, to Natalia Coelho at what show, JB? Uh, was it Toronto? No, it, Toronto. We had <laughs> it was uh, New York. It was the New York Pro. Yeah, New York. Yeah. So we know she was the favorite going in, and she did not no. disappoint, did she, JB? No, it really doesn't matter. She held, she held her shape um, from the last show, and um, yeah, she was so uh, was no surprise that she won. I think mm. no, great and, and outstanding from the back. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. Only problem at the Olympia she will have, I predict, is that she's already, she looks great. Yeah. But it's the genetic shape, the difference between her and Natalia Coelho, you know, the top level girls. Yeah. It's going to be very hard because she's on point. There's not much she can improve, you know? Yeah, that's true. Uh, all she can do is um, get more size on the lats, on the, on the back, um, to um, and more quad sweep and more better position. I, I think so that she can, um, yeah, maybe a little bit more fitting to uh, Natalia. But uh. great women's for C class, you guys, you've seen, um, uh, you've seen that leads here, and it's great, a lot of good conditioning and uh, healthy looking, feminine looking, yeah, uh, tight waist, uh, beautiful hair makeup, great class. Hey. Yeah. Into what usually is our usually is our favorite class. <laughs> it was this your favorite class from this show, JB? Yes or no? Be honest. Uh, yes, because size. Oh, really? Still <laughs> yeah. four <laughs> girls and one girl who, who didn't. I don't want to say anything bad, but yeah. Yeah, you know me. Uh, you are the competition guy, and I'm the more around guy. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the competition guy. You're more a round guy. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> in third place, you're watching first now, Michelle Brent. Yeah. Uh, we said it before. She's the only at w pure women's bodybuilder that's always been in women's bodybuilding in this yeah. show today, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, she ever was. Uh, she started as an uh, uh, amateur uh, women's bodybuilder and never lost, uh, not lost. <laughs> never left the class <laughs> so we will just obviously you can see there's some minus points on the that's age related but yeah. this is incredible feat and we're very proud of what she's doing on stage aren't we JB? yeah and she was shredded and she is shredded so wow. well the glutes and hams are not shredded though that's yeah. not shredded 
Yeah, but you can say, yeah. yeah. That's age thing that will hinder those things, Maybe. I would imagine. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. But great seeing her representing women's bodybuilding for all these years, JB. Yeah, that's definitely true. And yeah. she, yeah, was always in, in always present. So, yeah, mm. great. In third, in fourth, and I don't think she even got an, a placing, do you? Because uh, she was not be given and when at the end they didn't bring her out. Yeah. So maybe, and, yeah, maybe. Um, JB Gisela, calm. Mm -hmm. She should not have done this show, correct? Uh, no, wasn't for for her advantage. This one wasn't there. That's that's all. We, I, I think we should just stop it there, correct? Yeah. Yeah. In the battle, JB. Yeah. Between Lisa Kudry. Yeah. And, and Michelle Jin. Yeah. And these have their same positives and flaws. Yeah. They both are in great conditioning. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They're a little bit... What can we say? We would like to see a lot more size. Yeah. Especially on uh, yeah on, on Lisa, I think. From my perspective. Delts and arms. Yeah. From especially. My yeah. From my perspective. Yeah. Also, yeah. But, um, yeah. I think Lisa Cutry, if she, yeah, continues it this way, this way, well, it would be great because she has she has the natural shape and, uh, yeah, just build up. It was a nice duel, Lisa, yeah. a little bit small. Uh, uh, what can we say? Slender than Michelle frame. Yeah. yeah. Crazy condition. Well, good conditioning. Yeah. Her presentation was uh, way improved from her indie showing where she did not give up. Such a good presentation of her body. Yeah, the same too. She she learned her lessons. She um, learned her lesson. And thank you very much. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so was, I think uh, the judges saw that she uh, worked on her presentation, worked on the smiling, and worked on the but appearance. Maybe in our stories, where we have at least a thousand people who voted, we've showed both the girls during prejudging yeah. and. 80% of our viewers and a lot of our viewers are pros. Yeah. And obviously the stream doesn't tell everything because it's not the same as being there. Yeah. But 80% of our viewers had Michelle Jen win in this show. Yeah. I saw it uh, and I thought, okay. Well, yeah, she, but um, I, can, I can a little bit understand it because Michelle Jen has um, the, the more... Yeah, we can say appealing look. The appearance is a little bit more appealing. Yeah, but she's thicker also. There's more roundness to her back. That and uh, the uh, her the, legs are are more full. Yeah, the lower body is, yeah, very very good. Um, and uh, yeah, but as I mentioned before uh, in the last show, um, there was the, the balance between upper and lower. It's not. That but this good. was a very close contest, JB. Yeah, yeah. But in the end, I believe, we don't know, I believe it's the presentation to Lisa that she changed got her the advantage here and beat Michelle Jin on that. Don't you think so? Or I think the, the balance upper lower, yeah, lower is that was the point. You think that? Yeah, yeah. Because it's uh, yeah, yeah. because it's uh, one of the main things in uh, touching criteria in, women, in women's bodybuilding or bodybuilding itself. So um, exciting with a new girl, a complete new girl going to the women's to Miss Olympia, JB. Yeah, yeah, and congratulations to her. So this year we have new girls. We have Donna Salib, Eva Montgomery, yeah. and Lisa. Brand yeah. new, brand new to the Olympia. I'm very excited That's to it. That's cool. Yeah, with Teresa, Mela, Andrea, and we will see who's come next. We'll see who's next. Yeah, and Nadia Koposto, Nadia Koposti, Kopos, Kopotos, <laughs> not Kapotos. Yeah, that's <laughs> one of your favorite JB, isn't it? Yeah, she's nice. Yeah, she. Oh, she's nice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, JB, off topic. It's not allowed, but yeah. Who's your favorite women bodybuilder today? At the moment, At, who is JB's favorite on stage bodybuilder? And then favorite off-stage bodybuilder in 2022. I'm going to say mine. You tell yours first. Really? <laughs> Very tough. On stage. Who is it? On stage first. Uh, this season or last season? 
uh, this season that has competed. Uh, Eva Montgomery on stage and off stage, meaning she doesn't need to have competed yet. Um, it's very oh, that's not. Um, I know. Very, it's very tough. And remember, But, I'm going to tag that person in this story later. So you better say what you really feel. Who is your favorite offstage bodybuilder in 2022? But that was not uh, discussed with me. So Who is the, your favorite offseason bodybuilder in 2022? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know. My favorite on stage is... I don't know. It's a tie between Teresa and Eva. Okay. And offstage, you had your wild card. <laughs> I have Natalia Masonka. And she's coming back. And she's coming, guys. We will go into this in a deeper ep in another episode. Yeah, we'll do. Uh, I don't think we should do our politic talk right now. I think no. we just ended at that. And we are going to be back real soon with the women's physique. Pop the champagne Arnold Classic UK celebration. And we're going to do something different for you. We're not going to tell you now what it is. Yeah. But this is going to be a, something new for the number one women's bodybuilding channel in the world. Oh, yeah. We're going to break <laughs> the internet, whatever you call it, next episode, <laughs> yeah. aren't we? We do. We um, go into new horizons. Uh, um, I'm settled for that. I prepared it uh, last week. So um, stay tuned and get excited. And we are out. Oh, yeah.